Hi, I'm Andy with EcoCha, and here we are uh, with month two of the EcoCha Tea Club. Before we get into the tea, I'd like to introduce our special guest today. Here we have Emily from Hi. the Penn State uh, Tea Institute, who is visiting uh, Taiwan on her winter break with her parents. Uh, they came down from Miaoli County today. So, getting to the tea, this I have chosen the name of Dongding Tie Guan Yin Long Cha. The tea trees are. that a farmer in the Dongding Oolong Tea region of Nanto County, Lugu, in Yonglong village, decided to plant uh, a crop of these Tiaguanyin tea plants about four years ago. He processed the tea leaves in a kind of hybrid fashion that combines the traditional Tiaguanyin uh, tea processing methods with the traditional Dongding Oolong tea processing methods. Uh, about a month ago, I visited him just after the winter harvest, and he finally said, I have some tea guanyin for you, and he brewed it, and I was instantly taken by the tea. It has a really interesting flavor. Um, it has a dongding personality, but the flavor that comes from these tea guanyin leaves that are processed in this kind of integrated way of tea guanyin and dongding produce this fruitiness and uh, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of uh, pumpkin or butternut squash or sweet potato, that kind of real sweet stuff. I just put about, uh, well, I generously covered the bottom of the teapot uh, with tea leaves, nine or 10 grams in a 170 milliliter teapot, boiling temperature water, and just uh, proceed to brew tea in, a, in the typically casual yet uh, distinctly methodical way that Taiwan has developed here. Part of the culture in Taiwan is uh, a way that keeps it loose, but also keeps the expertise of brewing tea. This batch of tea is uh, an anomaly, as far as I understand, in Taiwan and anywhere else in the world. The harvest of this crop of tea started about two years ago, and I happened to be there uh, at the first harvest of that crop two years ago in the factory. And I, uh, while a larger crop was being uh, processed of high mountain tea, I said, what's that over there? And there were these tea racks that were draped in tarps, allowing the tea leaves to oxidize uh, to probably uh, double the amount that the other tea that was being processed. Mm. Would you like to smell that, Emma? Yes, I would. Thank you. Uh, most obviously, the Dongding Oolong tea part is the post-production roasting. So, oh, smelling yeah. from this Wonchang the roast, the roast, the mm. roasting scent mm -hmm. kind of developed into a, a sweet. You can smell like this sweet yeah. right. citrus feel. That's really, it's yeah. It's fruity, right? It's I get a real fruity. A distinct fruitiness from Yes. And the color, too. Just mm. trying to hold Oolong, it's a little like slightly darker. Definitely darker yeah. golden mm -hmm. copper yes. color, yeah. Yeah, the way gun is still coming up. Yeah. It's very salivating. I can feel the this uh, saliva in my cheeks. Yeah, it's just the back of my tongue. I love when it yeah. gets you like right here. Yes. Just, you get a slight aftertaste of astringency, which is like a, a very a notable trait or characteristic mm -hmm. of mid elevation tea. It also has that. Mm. Um, signature bitter taste mm -hmm. of oolong, which is like the good bitter of tea. Right, it's yeah. just this aftertaste yes. that's clean and exactly. it cleans your palate, mm -hmm. right? So I think this kind of tea is especially good for after a big meal because it cleans your palate it, and it, you know, as we as we know, tea is, is helps digestion in general. But it leaves this kind of fruity, clean aftertaste in your mouth. And the smell is amazing the second one there's more floralness to it I yeah think. i think that it comes yeah. out like it comes definitely out definitely flower yeah. yeah as you brew i find the sweeter aspects of the aroma come out more with the second or third brew and then if you leave that for a minute or two you might just get this super pure sweetness the first farmer that i know of and i asked him and he doesn't know anybody else that has mm -hmm. planted tia guan in, in central taiwan and at the ripe age of, I guess he would have been about 73, he planted a crop of Tiaguanyin tea, basically in his backyard. It's right behind his house. 
and uh, I just visited him last week and asked him, uh, so what, how, when was the first time you planted tea here? And he said, oh, that has to be when my father planted tea almost a hundred years ago. You know, he's 77 and uh, he, he said he grew up with his father making tea a small amount back then. How exactly was this roasted? Because I know uh, there are different types of roasting, charcoal with fire machine, pan, and then with hand. Right. Uh, this, despite his age, he has come to prefer what they call bing sang or refrigerator type oven. Uh -huh. They call it a uh, refrigerator because it's about the size of a refrigerator made of many racks of screens inside and uh, it's gas heated and it has a fan. It's basically a large convection oven. Yeah, so it's not the traditional mm -hmm. basket way. It's not the yes. pan firing. Um, it allows for a lot more control. You know, you can control the exact temperature and you can control how much you want the air to circulate inside, which is distinctly different from the basket one, which uh, it's more like this contained heat, like our cooking ovens, mm -hmm. right? The basket one is used for heavy roasting and uh, charcoal roasting. People do it for the last roasting of, of a tea that might be roasted to this extent, just to get a little bit of that more distinct roastiness. But they find it more uh, predictable and uh, controllable to use the, the larger roaster, the oven roaster. <laughs> so thanks for joining us for our second month of the Eco Cha Tea Club and our batch number two of Dong Ding Tie Guan Yin Oolong Tea. And uh, we thank Emily from Penn thank State you. for joining us and her parents from Miao Li County. It's been a very pleasant afternoon and we're really happy to just sit down and enjoy tea in the local Taiwan style. We'll see you next month. It's the first guy that I heard say, okay, well, I'm going to Nobody's ever said that. It's just like, this is, if you really want to get down to business, we, gotta, we need to produce some strong tea. <laughs> right.